Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how I made a Christmas inspired balloon wreath. If you like more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below, as well as that little bell so that you get a notification every time I post a new video. So let's get started. And this is what the beautiful wreath looks like. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so let's start making the wreath. We will be needing just a 12 inch uh, red balloons and a 260 um, stretchy balloon. Any color you want. I prefer just try to stick to the colors that are closer to the outside color. This case is pink. If you can find a red one, use that one as well. It's just nothing that's gonna look darker inside, if anything, lighter. And you're gonna fold the balloon and insert it just like that, making sure you leave both ends outside of the balloon. And we are going to proceed and pump some air on the uh, 12 inch balloon. And it's about maybe 20 pumps that I use. Um, once you have your balloon inflated to uh, make it big, just make sure to secure the two ends of the 260 outside, just like that. And now we're going to proceed to inflate the inside balloon. So you're going to put your pump into the mouth of the 260 and making sure no air gets released from your 12 inch balloon. You're going to pump about seven pumps inside the balloon. And as you can kind of see, it starts to inflate inside. I just do about seven times and there is some extra balloon inside so making sure you secure the air you're going to pull on the end of the one balloon to get the extra balloon outside and you basically pretty much want the balloon to be tight inside and you're going to make two knots now some people will say this is one of the hardest things because you're working with one hand making sure that you don't release air of the 12 inch balloon it's going to take some time for you to get the trick i mean i'm still working on it myself but you need to figure out a way that you tie it two times to not let any air out of the 260 balloon Once you have secure with the two knots, now you can proceed to release some of the air on the 12 inch. But remember, this is gonna be a, a distortioned balloon. So you're gonna squeeze in the middle and press down slowly against your chest so you can release air little by little, not all at once. And you're going to continue to press into the shape that you want to accomplish. In this case, I'm making a flower petal. So I want my sides to go in and down. Now, you see, sometimes it doesn't come out perfect. So you have to wiggle it in and continue to mold your balloon into the shape that you want. This will definitely take some technique. You guys, I'm not even an expert on this, but the only way to get to the shape you want is to continue to practice, practice, practice. And if by any chance you're not happy with the shape, you can inflate it again, put some more air in to the outside of the balloon to give it more space. And you are going to proceed and release the air out by continuing to shape your inside balloon. I hope that this makes sense, you guys, because it is quite hard to try to explain. <laughs> so I'm pinching down, out, and into the top, okay, just like I'm doing. And it's not going to be perfect, but this is pretty much the shape that I'm trying to get to. The one side is giving me such a hard time, but again, it's all about the practice. And if you really think about it, it's a petal. It doesn't have to be perfect. So even if they're not exactly the same, that's the beauty of being organic. It's going to look very natural. 
So now, once I have my petals for my flower, I'm going to proceed and make some leaves. The same concept, but this time I'm using green on green, a 12 inch green balloon and a 260 um, stretchy balloon. Fold them into half, making sure the two ends are out, pinch the middle and pump some air inside um, the 12 inch balloon about 20 pumps once you do the 20 pumps then you're going to inflate your 260 balloon now that that's done you're going to insert your hand pump into the 260 being careful not to release air pump about seven pumps of air inside and continue to secure your inside balloon by making two knots and again i don't want to keep repeating myself but i feel like if i continue to um, repeat the steps uh, sometimes i find out that it helps me when i hear the person twice in a tutorial say the same thing so it can kind of stick in my head and i don't know if that works for you guys but if you don't want to keep hearing it you can skip right ahead <laughs> So make the two knots and continue to release your air of your 12 inch balloon at the same time as you fold the inside balloon to make your leaf. Okay, pinch and squeeze in, release some air and mold your balloon to look like a leaf. So now I'm going to grab my 5 inch balloons and I'm just going to pump a little bit of air into each. I'm going to make a cluster of 3 balloons and I'm going to have basically 2 clusters of 3 each. And these will serve as the middle of my flower and it will help my flower get secure on each um, end. Now that we have all of our petals ready to go, remember we do have that extra balloon sticking out of them. So all you're gonna do is just cut them off. Now, it's very important to remember to save those um, extra balloons because you can save them for all sorts of things. So don't throw them out. They are still um, good to use for other things, so save them. But mainly what you wanna do is just get the excess out. And once you have them looking like this, what you're going to do is you're going to use glue dots to glue your petals together. Now, people can use a um, low heat glue gun. You can opt to do that or double sided tape. In this case, uh, latex works very well with my glue dots and I feel like it's secure enough to use them. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put two glue dots on each end of my uh, flower petals and I'm going to stick them to each other. Okay, you guys, so once you have your um, flower done, we're gonna need a set of two of these, okay? Obviously, the bottom one is gonna have more petals than the top one. It is your decision. I ended up, I think, with 
、uh, six on the top and seven or eight at the bottom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer them like that. Just make sure that they're not、um, right on top of each other. Try to wiggle it so it resembles more of a flower. And I will be using my、um, cluster of three balloons. I'm going to add a 260 balloon to it, and I'm going to place that right in the middle of my flower. By doing this, you will be securing、um, the two flowers to each other, so you don't really have to glue them down. You see, you feed the 260 through the hole there. And you will attach your other cluster that you built at the end. Okay, all you gotta do is、um, just glue dot your petals to the end of your、uh, flowers. Just make sure it's upside down. And that's about it. In order to attach your leaf petals to your flower. So this is what the Christmas flower looks like, and you guys, it is so cute. Yes, it is a bit of work, but the end result is worth it. And it's actually bigger than when it appears on camera. But I hope you guys like this flower, and then we're gonna move on and attach this to our wreath. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a balloon wreath for Christmas, and、um, I will be showing you how to make、uh, this beautiful flower. You guys are gonna get to see step by step how I made this beautiful flower. But I'm gonna be using this hula hoop. It's just a small one. I'm gonna make a wreath with balloons. And I'm gonna place my flower right here, so you'll see、uh, the end result. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm gonna use a bunch of different、uh, green colors、uh, for balloons. These are all different sizes. Some of them are 12, some of them are nine inch, and it's just leftover balloons that I had. So as you can see, some of them are flat green, pearlized green. Um, a lime greenish, and、um, I'm using all these to build my wreath and give some contrast to my beautiful flower. So, as far as this flower goes, how cute is this, you guys? It did take a lot of time building it, and it will take a lot of、um, trial and.、Um, To try to get these petals to bend the way you want them, but all in all, you guys got to think that、um, a flower is not going to be perfect. So even if there are some petals that are bigger, larger than others, that's the beauty of it is a flower. So you know, no matter what,、um, try to make it as much as you can. Try to practice, 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 and you know, for being my first time making this flower, I am. In love with the way it turned out, and I didn't even expect it to be this big to begin with. <laughs> But this is what we got, and I thought I'm gonna make it and put it at the bottom of my wreath. So stay tuned because I will be building the wreath for you guys.
Okay, so I finished building my wreath and I'm leaving this space right here empty because I don't want to keep, um, you know, using too many balloons where I don't need to. So I'm going to show you guys, this is where the flower is going to go. Okay, so I have my flower and as if uh, you remember, I had the um, back right here of the flower with the one the 160 or 260 and I'm gonna attach this to my wreath okay to the hula hoop so I'm gonna I, this is where I pretty much want my flower to be so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach so you guys can see it right here and I'm pretty much just gonna go around and around and I'm just gonna make a knot okay so my flower is gonna look something like this it's attached but what I want to do is now I want to put it in place and I'm gonna start using glue dots to glue the back of the flower onto my balloons okay and then I'm gonna fill in the gaps on my um, wreath so I can go right ahead and attach with glue dots the petals to my wreath I got some glue dots over here. I'm just going to place it right Hold on, honey. I'm pretty sure you can also do this with a um, low heat glue gun and um, I just don't want to do it because I have smaller kids and they're always around me so I don't want to leave the hot glue gun when, they'll, when they are around but another way is double sided tape or you know glue dots work just fine especially if it's indoors you know that's secure enough too so I'm gonna continue to do my other side of the garland. Yeah, am I right to help our team, Mama? All right, Mama. Give me one second, okay? So wherever the flower lands on the wreath, that's where I'm going to be placing my glue dots, pretty much, okay? Okay, you guys, and so far, this is, let me put you guys back so you can see so far what I got over here. Okay. And this is what I have so far. Isn't that gorgeous? So, now, as you can see, there are some uh, see-through spots where you can see the, um, the hula hoop. So you can add some single, and just glue that some single five inch uh, gold chrome to go with it. You